Well, I'm here on this sand pit, and as you can see, there's a stream behind me. Uh, there's a crossover right there, and I love sand. Anytime that I can get sand, I love it. It's uh, There's coyote tracks through here. There's saw a mink track right down by the water. Um, yesterday, it's the end of the day. I'm exhausted. I found it in 31 sets. This will be number 32, last one. But... I wanted to show you something because I talk sometimes and people think I'm crazy that I think you can catch animals, whether it's coyote, fox, bobcat, coon, just on eye appeal alone. I went around yesterday when I got in town and I dug beds for 36 sets. I didn't get 36 in today. This is my 32nd. But I've talked about eye appeal and I've talked about how that is something that I think is just as important as the lure and bait that we use. And I want to show you something. I dug this out yesterday, and you can see a big coon track right there. His front foot right there, and that is the kind of big trench I dug because of the sand. But you can see that coon, I dug that yesterday with a trowel, threw the dirt to the side, and drove away. So I wouldn't have to do it when I came today. And there's a big coon walked in there and got all the way in to see what was in there. So anytime you're out there, especially these sandy areas along a stream, whether you're trapping for coon or beaver or things of that nature, really, really understand that eye appeal works too so i wanted to show you that and pretty cool though that coon going right there back foot front foot he was all the way down in there now i saw a coyote track down here about 10 feet but uh i don't know if the coon will come by here tonight i'll take you down here real quick and show you the coyote track but what a beautiful area. I'm here in Missouri. Brad Harris has me out. Brad's actually not here. Uh, we're thinking of him, and he's uh, had to go in for some heart procedures. But here is the coyote track right there. Right by the water's edge. And the mink track's right there. And as you can see, the set's right there. So... Number 32 going in today. Hopefully I'll have some action. It's going to get real cold the next four days, which is great. We're going to have to escape the coons, the possums, and the skunks tonight. Night one, it's going to be only a low of 33. And that cold front's coming in. Temperature's going to continue to drop for about 36 hours. And those animals are going to be on the move, so... I'm hoping they stay away from my sets. I got some dog proofs in close to some of my other sets to try and uh, catch them before they get to my canine sets. But that's one other point. I can sit here. I'm out of wind, as you can tell. I'm exhausted. But I could talk on this for three days. When you're putting a set in like this right here, and you have coon sign on the set, put a DP up there about 10 feet. Put another DP out there about 10 feet, and you'll catch sometimes those coons, possums, and skunks in those DPs before they get in here and ruin your canine or bobcat set. So that's just one more tip that you can use when you're out here. But as I said, beautiful day, wonderful uh, area. I love these sand pits. The coons already working this set without bait. We got coyote track down here, and number 32 is going in the ground. Good luck to everyone out there.